Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were attacked by someone who used to be a friend of Elise. At first I was chalking it up to betrayal, but Emperor Seth brought up a good point in the comments. The evil goddess Hera has some corrective influence in this world. As an aside, another advantage to not streaming is that your comments matter now. I mean, they always matter to me, but now they won't be two years late. But I digress. Let us go ahead and start chapter one. Do you want to start the chapter one? That's what I said. Hello, cutie. Oh, hey, is Hades back? About time. It's been a while, so maybe your memories are a bit confused. Don't worry, I prepared a recap of the last chapter just for you. Oh. Uh, that, that's actually kind of a good thing, because it has been a couple days. I imagine that these chapters are being released kind of episodically. So this chapter was released sometime after the prologue, and... Chapter 2 was released sometime after that, and eventually Chapter 3 is going to be released. Do you want to see the recap? At the same time, it is a good thing that that, that is an option. Some people might not want it, but we will go ahead and have the recap. Even though I already gave one. Sit back and relax. I will tell you everything that has happened up to this point. This is Elise and a friend, Sai. Both of them were unlucky enough to fall into a weird world called the Soul World. As soon as she woke up in that strange world, Elise decided to look for her missing friend along with her rabbit plush, Marbles. I just noticed that Marbles is right there. On this perilous journey, even new friends like me and Pan, a wise protector, showed up. How nice! But the tranquility didn't last long when a bounty hunter named Nebula appeared. She wanted to rip out Elise's soul. It was a tough battle, but somehow Elise managed to survive. Thanks to my tips, of course. The only tip that you gave was run. During this fight, Nebula's mask broke and she revealed herself as an old friend of Elise, Circe. What will happen now? Will Elise be able to find her friend? Actually, I know the answer, but you need to see it for yourself. <laughs> Circe? Elise? It's you. I... Don't look at me. Don't you dare! Sir... Cersei is dead. Don't call me that! The girl covered her face and disappeared, leaving some tears behind. Is she... Really, Cersei? But what happened to her? She was so kind. Here, let me heal you. B -b Pan! You should have used the little energy you had to heal yourself. Don't worry about me. Pan? Pan! She's unconscious. She must have lost a lot of blood. I tried to carry her, but I have been too weak because of the fight against Cersei. I need to find help ASAP, or Pan will... 
Don't worry, Pan. I'll be back soon. I promise. I mean... She's not necessarily going to die. She's already dead. I said her soul will just collapse and then... I guess she'll just recover at some point. Pan... My house is nearby. Do not come. Minerva. Pan's house is also nearby. I wonder if they live next door or together or what. Welcome to the boulder pushing puzzle. The name is pretty self-explanatory. Oh, I just thought of something. Uh-huh. I got a new challenge list. Grinding King 2, reach level 20. Rest in pieces. Fail in the shooting minigame 10 times in the Ink Hills. I will say there is one disadvantage to having the challenge list available from the start, and that is... Well, now I know there's going to be a shooting minigame coming up. I still think it's better to have the challenge list available from the start, though. Maniacal Princess. Kill 25 enemies near the mountain. VN Lover. Talk to all NPCs in Chapter 1. Speedrunner. Defeat the Dragon minigame before the timer reaches 30 seconds. I imagine that one is the hardest one. Also, VN Lund Lover, the rare, the reward is a rare candy. Is that going to be an automatic level up? In any case, I'm definitely going to try for some of these. For now, though, Boulder Puzzle. Hmm. I'm trying to get a feel for the boulder mechanics. Because it seems like it can detect two pushes from me, but I'm not sure. Restart the puzzle? No, 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 no! Oops. Well, and now it's reset. Okay, now I know why it feels like it's being pushed twice, because I'm stepping towards it and bump into it as I step forward. And that triggers another push. Not entirely sure what that puzzle was supposed to be accomplishing, but here is a little more obvious. There's a path forward. Was there, like, a blockade like this in the previous room? I didn't notice something changed, but I didn't notice what. There's two boulders in this room. Do I have the option of which one to push? Well, 
I went with that one. Now there's three boulders. I do also notice that this boulder is one color while the other two are a different color. Is that implying which one I should be pushing? Am I even able to push these others? Yes. Okay, let me see. So if I push that one up here... I can push it here, then push it up here, and simple. There we go. <laughs> North Ink Hills. Oh, I can enter enter this. Oh God! Finally, someone who can help me. Oh, then it's a good thing that I came in here. Uh, hello? Uh, bleep off! You are interrupting my beauty sleep. Beauty? On top of that, it's a flesh and blood human! Disgusting! Hey, why are you being so rude? You broke into my house and interrupted my sleep, and you still expect me to treat you kindly? Don't make me laugh. I just came to ask for your help. Bleep off. Humans aren't allowed here. What is your problem with humans? You've been one before, haven't you? They are a bunch of walking meat. Useless. Now get out of here before I kick you out. Look, if you do nothing, my friend Pain will die. So you will come even if I need to take you by force. Pan? Why didn't you say it earlier? Let's hurry. Huh? Pan is an old friend of mine. She helps me clean my boat whenever I need it. Now let's go before something bad happens. Uh, okay, I guess. Wait for me. Huh? She's... gone? But... she was lying here minutes ago. We have to find her. She might be in danger. Pan? Pan! Elise! I was worried about you. Where were you? Thank goodness you are safe. Elise? Oh, hey! It's Psy! I hope she hasn't been corrupted. P Pan? Psy? Luckily, Psy found me and helped me heal. We went after you. That's... convenient. I'm so relieved that you are okay. You guys are so clingy. Gross. Was there supposed to be a hug there? Quick reminder, by the way, that this game is a work in progress. Pan explained everything to me. I wonder how we got here. Maybe we're both remnants. Such an odd coincidence. Huh. Well, at least we're all together now.
just a random comment. I kind of like this song. It's weird. Even Minerva is here. Whatever. Well, where should we go now? We don't have time to lose. Look, I'll have to stay here. What? I know, it's so sudden, but I have to keep looking in case any, any other remnant shows up. After all, it's my duty. But, but Anne, I don't want to lose you again. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You're a strong girl. I've already taught you everything I know. You haven't taught your healing spells. Or your shrinking spell, for that matter. I will always be with you, right? No matter what. Well, I mean, not technically. Okay, you need to go to the house of a friend of mine. Aestus? Aestus, we'll say. He will make a weapon for you. I will also give you a magic compass. It will take you to one of Hera's henchmen. You need to defeat all three of them on so your way home will open. Why? How, how does that work? They are very powerful creatures. Be careful. You got magic compass. Henchmen? Minerva, take them to Aista's house for me. Huh? Why me? It's because I'm asking you to. Fine. But I'm only going because I want to see my beloved. Alright. With that said, take care, everyone. You too. I will. Can she also teleport? You you had so much left to teach us. Crap. I don't think I have any choice. Minerva joined your party against her will. Let's do it! Sai joined your party! Follow me. There's a path behind my house. Yeah, I almost went that way. I thought your boat was just a sight gag. Uh... It would have been nice if the screen faded out briefly before they joined. So, we got Sai. I was not expecting her to join so easily. I was expecting some sort of rescue sequence, but okay. Oh, and she's already got a magic spell. Confusion 1 causes confusion to one enemy. For 10 MP? Yeah, I'll definitely be using that a bunch. Minerva. <laughs> okay, so Sai is a sagacious human? Well, first, let me look up what sagacious is. Having or showing keen mental discernment and good judgment. Also shrewd. Meanwhile, Minerva, the nasty one. What you got? So, Sai has a rose. It's pretty cute. I'm, I'm not sure that I've ever heard a rose be cute before. But okay. 
Does it do anything? Yeah, it's a big attack buff first off. Big defense buff as well. As for Minerva, you have a sailor hat, but she is sailor? And a sailor bow. A very girly bow. The soul world fashion is outdated. So Sai, the brain of the party, despite being sensitive, she has a heart of gold. And Minerva, toxic and poisonous. Should you trust her? I don't see why not. And we can change formation if we wanted to. Just wanted to point that out. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and get back to Minerva's house real quick. Because there's, uh, there was stuff in there. I can no longer min enter Minerva's house. Okay, so at this point, I had already stopped recording this episode. And I was editing this episode. And I noticed that I forgot to check a couple of things. There's another advantage to not streaming anymore. When I was streaming, I didn't look over my streams to see if I missed anything. I mean, my streams were two hours long. I'm not about to go looking through all that. Anyway, first things first, I'm kind of curious. Is Pan's Diary updated with these new characters? Well, as a matter of fact, yeah, there's some, uh, there's some new information in here, including enemies that I'm guessing I am about to encounter. We'll look at those whenever we get to those. Oh, that said, the bunny kid has now been added to that list. I don't know if the bunny kid was added upon talking to the bunny kid or upon starting chapter one. In any case, no one knows what's behind that bunny mask because he's too shy to show it. Oh, it's not even a girl. Oops. Threat level none, habitat mirror room, power weak, likes goals, dislikes homework. Quotes, are you writing an article about me? This will make me famous, right? And now we have a couple more profiles here. Sai is my best friend. How cute. Thank you, Elise. She is very reliable and smart. She learned to use this world's magic even before I did. Written by Elise. Sai the Wise. Meanwhile... And I briefly forgot her name. Minerva. It occurs to me that Minerva's name is not listed here on this page. What a despicable person. She scares me. When was the last time she took a shower? Oh, don't tell her I said that. Written by Sai. Too late. I guess uh, Minerva read this. The Walking Dead. It is interesting that we have a literal zombie on this team now. Let's see, what else? What else? Oh yeah, I didn't check what the magic compass was. A compass given by Pan. It will lead you to one of Hera's cronies. Mechanically, I don't think it does anything. I also forgot to check what spells Minerva has. She has Stardust Reverie 1. We've seen that one a few times. It was not very impressive. It's one enemy with a cosmic attack. Maybe Minerva's version will be stronger. Maybe Minerva has stronger magical powers. Meanwhile, got our first elemental spell, Water Anchor 1. Throws a giant anchor at the enemy. Oh, I am looking forward to seeing that next time. 
So what's on the next screen, out of curiosity? A jigsaw puzzle. Also, a picture frame enemy. Alright then, next time, we'll be doing a jigsaw puzzle and fighting a picture enemy. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.